Hello everybody, a random gnome here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to stream your audio with your Dazzle capture card through uh, XSplit, you know, to stream on, you know, Twitch or whatever. And sorry about this, you know, my thing uh, kind of takes a long time to open, and, you know, I'd start it without it open, but fraps is kind of lame. If I start it with this open, it'll just record the video of that, you know, and I can't use Camtasia because it won't show some of the settings. But forget about that, you don't need to worry about that. Anyways, you need to get the uh, virtual audio cable. I will provide a link in the description, and that will be a trial version. And you know, uh, I recommend you buying it or maybe obtaining it through other methods. I am not going to advise anybody to do anything about that. But you know, the trial version. I've heard some things about. You know, there's a woman that keeps saying trial, trial, or something like that. You don't want to use that. You want to get the full version. But you know, whatever. Install it and what you're going to want to do is go to the folder that you installed it in and then there will be something called audio repeater KS and that's what you're going to want to need so first off what you're going to want to do is just add your camera you know your dazzle if yeah okay here we go and once you have that you know you're pretty you're pretty good on the audio side there's pretty much nothing else you can you really want to do except for maybe I don't know optimize whatever forget it uh, to get your audio in, as you can see, there's no audio coming through. You can see my mic, that's about it. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, you know, start this first off. Uh, just start it. And then you're going to want to go to General Settings and change that to Line 1. And then right click, oh geez right click this go to configure and go to crossbar and make sure this one says audio encoder out and this one says audio line in apply and as you can see the game audio is already coming in and uh... now what i have to do is make it so my you know uh... voice audio is coming through and how you do that is just go to your recording devices and go to properties and listen to this device hello you can hear me twice, twice in this video. video. And yeah, you, you don't really, really it's really annoying, annoying but, but as you can see it's working. So, so what you can, can do is literally just turn off your speakers so you don't have to hear yourself twice. I'm going to stop listening to myself, but that's really what you need to do to get your voice audio to come through. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it. You just go to your broadcast and just live stream from there. But yeah, I recommend you turning off your speakers when you're using your mic. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. You have to listen to yourself. It's a it's a drawback, but I really, you know, there's other ways how to not listen to yourself, but I couldn't do it. I actually removed a tutorial I put up because I wanted to show that, but you know what? I goofed up, and I couldn't do it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helped you out. See you guys later, and see you next time.